David here from another Eden Adventures. How you doing? It's the middle of May, or it's near the end of May, and who here is feeling absolutely broke? I certainly am. Just had a wedding, just had a honeymoon, and that felt like just getting everything I have and everything I worked for all my life and just throwing it in a pit of fire. It was fun. While I was at it, I thought, why not spend more money on a video game? So I did. I spent, in Australian dollars, $69.99 on 2,000 paid chrono stones. And what did I get? Was I happy? That is a deep question that I won't answer right now. But that could be, that's actually a whole episode on whether or not you should or shouldn't spend money on another Eden. Who here has spent money? Feel free to share it. Like, did you, how much have you spent? Did you regret it? Are you fine with it? Are you still spending money on it? Have you subscribed to one of the subscription packages or both of them? We'd love to know your thoughts. Me personally, I think the, the best advantage you can get from playing this game is learning the resilience to not spend money on the game. Don't be like David. You can still support the developers through clicking on the ads and so forth. But if you're not like me and you manage to self, have immense self-discipline, you can still really enjoy this game because it's obviously the game needs to survive and needs money and so forth. So they need to keep selling you new units, right? But there's always going to be a better unit at the end of the day. So if you spend money, sure, go for it. But if you don't spend money, you, there'll still be a lot of fun. A lot of, you probably have more challenges, which is good, which makes the game more fun, right? And with me, I, I had an income. I have an income, right? So I can afford to spend money. Well, I couldn't during the honeymoon. This was a very, really dumb spent. This was a really dumb decision for me, but I did it anyway. But typically, I can afford to spend money in Chronostone. So it, it, do, it sort of hurts, but it doesn't hurt that much. So what do you think? Should you spend money? Let me know. So what did I spend my money on? Well, my first paid thousand chronostones was spent on a Star Dream Encounter. For those of you who don't know what that is, that essentially lets you choose whichever unit you want in the game up to that, the date of the release of the encounter, and it's yours. They are yours. It's like picking your waifu, picking your husbando, and it's just guaranteed to be yours. But before you use that Star Dream piece where you can choose that unit you want, you also get 10 random encounters. So this is who I get. Let's have a look. Here we go. Encounter. Let's, uh, let's see where my money brings me. Oh, a three star. Who's it gonna be? Please be Pom. Please be a witch with a big bare hands, Uranus. M's! Oh, I've missed M's. Not really. I haven't missed M's. Oh, there she is, Urania. Urania. My all time favorite. And let's see my next one. I am gonna guess it is. No more. Hello. Hello. Ah, no ma. Such a pure soul. Who's next? Well, speaking of pure souls, Pry, the fiery priest. And Kilkia. I haven't encountered Kilkia in a while. Yeah. I wonder what her backstory is. Who is this behind the silver door? And it's Brino. Woohoo. Urania? Are you there? Rodea. The sister with an axe. Ems, are you back? Or that old guy. What's his name again? Zilda? Oh, it's Yusus. Yusus? Or Isis? Isis. Is it Isis? 
Hey, a second pry. Here we go. Here we go. Come on, Lokido. Come on. And it's your guy, Zilva. That's his name, Zilva. He's probably got to be the most unpopular four star there is. Can anyone prove me wrong? Is Zilva the most un him? And I reckon second it would be the guy who's sitting on the carpet and he cooks he cooks stuff with a beard. Oh, what's his name? I'll remember it soon. He's like a chef or something. So what did I spend my money on next? I spent it on a Twin Destinies Encounter. So for the, with a Twin Destinies Encounter on the 9th and 10th Alloy Encounters, you're guaranteed in another style, extra style, all parallel time layer, five star class on the 9th and 10th time. So I thought this is worth it. This is worth the low, low price of $34.99 if the chronostones are discounted which they were but I just assumed for some reason I'd get parallel time layer units um, yeah I know you can side upgrade to them I know that but I was just strapped for time I was so behind and everything too busy falling in love and getting married all that stuff and I just wanted some parallel time units bad. But as my luck would have it, things would be different. So let's see who I finally unlocked on those 9th and 10th encounters. Let's go from the start. Here we go. No more? Is it you? I haven't had Sawyer in a while. And it's Asia. Just the whole continent of Asia. I just unlocked Asia. I reckon Asia should be more powerful. You know, if you're going to represent Asia, you should be hell strong, right? Anyway, Nixa. Who do we have here? Brino? Oh, Zilva. It's gotta be Zilva. And it's Rufus. That claw would be inconvenient to carry around. Nonald. Who here likes Nonald? He's a bit of a... I don't know, is he wearing a wig? Nixa again. If you notice at the top of their heads, they have like a uh, card. So this one has a spade. I think M's has a as a heart. I forgot who clubs and uh, diamonds are. Who's next? Come on, Sora. Haven't seen you in a while. Ah, Bivet. I have no comments to say about Bivet. I think I've done a side quest. I quite enjoy them. She talks about a cat a bit, right? Alright. Zilva. Hey, Noma, long time no see, good friend. I think the developers really want to sell us Brino and Noma. There you go, Brino. They just really want us to to just see them all the time. Alright, I think this is the ninth one next. See, this is where I'm confused. Was it meant to be a five star though? Why is it a silver doll? And there we go. Dupe Renry. Thank you. Thank you for that. Money well spent. Could have gone to uh, my future children's trust fund, but instead it went to Renry. Who's next? Will I redeem myself? And 
No, I will not. It is a Lulu. Yay! And how do I feel about this? Well, all I can say is I'm alive and I am $69.99 poorer. See everyone. Bye-bye.